the following question reads that what will react differently with the two isomeric alcohols uh, this one uh, is given and there's another alcohol given which is this one uh, so you have two alcohols so we're going to have a look at the two alcohols i'm going to draw the structure of the two alcohols so if i look at this first molecule over here this one let's try and draw this uh, i'm going to start uh, my starting point when i'm drawing this would be this one i'm going to focus on this middle carbon atom uh, this carbon atom over here, uh, there's a CH2 and an OH on this side. So a C and an OH group attached and CH2, so that means there would be two hydrogens. And this carbon atom uh, on the left side, there are three CH3 branches that are attached to it. So there is a CH3 branch. So let's uh, draw that those CH3 branches. So here you can see I've uh, drawn the three CH3 branches around that carbon atom. So I've focused on this middle carbon atom. Uh, similarly, this molecule over here, let's start with this carbon atom, which had all these branches attached. So uh, this carbon atom, there's a CH2, another CH2, and then an OH. So C, H2, CH2, and then an OH. Uh, let's add in the hydrogen. So this is to the right of that carbon atom. So I'm going to add these hydrogens. And, on the, and this is CH. So this is going to be one H that is attached, CH. And on the left side, there are two CH3 branches. So let's add in the CH3 branches. So here's one and here's another CH3 branch that is to the left of this uh, carbon atom. So I have, I have my two structures now in front of me. Uh, the first one, let's start and figure out to which one would react differently. The first one is an oxidizing agent. As you can see, uh, this, uh, both of these molecules are primary alcohols. You can look at this carbon atom uh, and this carbon atom. So they're both uh, primary alcohols. Primary alcohols are going to get oxidized by potassium dichromate 6. Uh, primary alcohols, they change into, primary alcohols change into aldehydes and then they change into carboxylic acid. So both of these carbon atoms, this one and this one, uh, they're both primary alcohols and they're going to react in a similar way. Potassium magnet would change from purple to colorless. So the first one reacts in a similar way with both of them. Uh, let's focus on the uh, add option B. But let's ignore option B for a second because option B is the correct option. Let's uh, focus on C and D. C is potassium pentachloride, which is PCl5. What PCl5 would do is that PCl5 would replace these OH in both cases and in their places you're going to get chlorine. So there's going to be a substitution reaction if you react it with PCl5. So both of them are going to react in a similar way. So again, uh, potassium pentachloride would not be the correct option because uh, both of them are reacting. Similarly, let's focus on this last one, sodium. Sodium, uh, they react with alcohols. Uh, the H in the OH group is going to be replaced by Na if you reacted with sodium. Sodium is, the, is probably the most reactive metal which reacts with alcohols, uh, which are very, very weakly acidic. So this H as well, uh, the oxygen will become minus one and instead of the H, there's going to be Na plus one in its place the H would form a hydrogen gas. Uh, so both alcohols are going to react. Uh, so the first option, the third option, and the fourth option, they can't be the correct option. Let's now focus on the correct option, which is going to be option B. So why is option B the correct option? Now the reason why concentrated sulfuric acid is the correct option is because it's a dehydrating agent. What does a dehydrating agent do? What it does is it removes the OH from one of the carbon atoms. So this is the carbon atom. The OH would be gone. Here's the other carb uh, the other alcohol. The OH would be gone. So it removes the OH from one of the carbon atom and from the neighboring carbon atom. Let's focus on this carbon atom. This is the only neighboring carbon atom. NH is lost. And the two carbon atoms end up forming a double bond between them. And alkene would be formed. OH would be lost from one carbon atom and H would be lost from the neighboring carbon atom. But that is not going to happen over here in this molecule because the OH would be lost from this carbon atom. But the neighboring carbon atom has no hydrogens attached to it. As you can see over here, it's bonded to carbon on all sides. Carbon-carbon bonds are very stable. They don't break. So OH would be lost from one carbon atom. The H should have been lost from this carbon atom, but there is no H, which means that no dehydration reaction would have been possible in this case. So this is going to be your correct option. Uh, no dehydration possible over here. Uh, this would readily change into an alkene. It will dehydrate. The OH would be lost. The H would be lost from the neighboring carbon atom. And the two carbon atoms are going to have a double bond in between 
an unsaturated compound is going to be produced. So concentrated sulfuric acid is the correct answer. It's going to react differently with the two molecules.